Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How do you do? I hope you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is an English for grade 5. We are learning unit number 9. Mary, the queen of hills. So my dear teachers, this is lesson plan and PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number 7, expository paragraph. We will learn about that and how we can write a paragraph through a process and a procedure. Before in English for grade 4, we have already, already learned about sequence word. So, how we can arrange words in a sequence. I hope you remember it. If you may not, you can watch this video lecture again. Our today's students' learning outcomes are Use appropriate vocabulary and tense to write a simple paragraph by explaining a process or a procedure. Writing an expository paragraph explaining a process or a procedure. So yes, my dear students, today we are going to deliver and we are going to get about such type of paragraphs. Yes, so my dear teachers and my dear students, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Anam, verse number 2, He is the one who created you from clay, then appointed a term for your death and another known only to him for your resurrection. Yet, you continue to doubt. Yes, my dear teachers and my dear students, so what such type of verse and what this verse is telling us, explaining us, this verse is giving us concept that how Allah Almighty has created us and how in step by step, our first step, how he has first, he has created from clay and the second is that we have to die we have to face death also because as Muslim, it's our firm belief that one day is fixed for our death. So next step is death and after death, it is also our firm belief that it is our Iman that we will have to face what we have done in this world. So this day is called the day of resurrection. So these are all our steps that we have to follow and Let's pray from Almighty Allah that He may forgive us for our all sins. Amen. Yes, so my dear students, are you ready to refresh your knowledge? What are sequence words? What do you know about expository paragraph? Yes, my dear teacher, pause the video, get answer from your students and then come back. Excellent job. I hope they have reminded it. So let's see what are sequence, sequence words. Sequence words are words that help us to understand the order of events that are happening in a narrative or a text. Yes, my dear students, definitely we, everything we do in order, in steps. So sequence words are that that tell us that what we did first, secondly, third, then, now, and finally, at the end, what we did. So, such type of words are called sequence word. And these are compulsory, definitely. That work we do, we do in a sequence. So, there is that we should get like steps to grow a plant. See that how we grow a plant. Number one, first we, what we get? We get the flower part and Second, put soil in the flower pot. First of all, when we are while growing a plant, we got our flower pot and then we fill soil in this flower pot. And third is put seeds in the flower pot with soil. So third, what we do? We will do, we will put seeds in this soil full of, that flower pot full of soil, we will put seed there. And number four step is, we will water the seeds. And number five, put the flower pot in the sunlight. So we will put that flower pot in the sunlight because my dear students, we know that three things are basic needs of plants. Number one, air, water and sunlight. So these three things are so compulsory for plants. 
So next at the last step we will see that the plant has grown. So these are the steps. Finally, this is the last step when we will see our plant. So this such type of whole procedure is called sequence word. Yes, so what is expository paragraph? An expository essay is an essay that communicates factual information. Expository comes from the term expose, meaning to reveal. An expository paragraph requires specific details and examples in a sequence. Yes, my dear students, so what is an expository paragraph? It communicates factual communication. It means it related on facts and facts we know that facts cannot be changed and we can prove facts and what is expository comes from from where it comes from the word expose so expose mean to reveal to show something to display something in front of people so this is called expose expose to reveal something and expository paragraph always written in sequence it shows a pro procedure or a process. So let's see how we can write an expository paragraph. This paragraph like the others organizes itself around three parts. So we have already learned that a paragraph have three parts. So same like that expository paragraph has also three parts. So let's see which parts are there. First is another topic sentence allows the reader to understand what you are writing about. So first sentence will tell us about that what we are going to discuss in the next remaining passage. So first sentence is called topic sentence. So next is called the middle part of the paragraph contains sentences that follows one another in a logical sequence of steps. So yes my dear students you can get that how they are related sequence words and expository paragraph. So they are related to each other deeply because we are, we are writing, we write whole process in our procedure step by step. And the last one is the final sentence closes your subject with an emphasizes on the final product or a procedure desired by the topic. So we finalize the whole paragraph and the final sentence always give final concepts about topic sentence. That is middle, sen middle part of the paragraph is called also supporting detail. It supports the topic sentence and give more concepts through examples, illustrations and facts. We can get that, how we can prove that our topic sentence. Here is an example for you for more understanding my dear students like about cats. Cats are good pets. So this is our topic sentence. We are discussing about cats. You don't have to take a cat for a walk every day like a dog. There is a comparison between dog and a cat that we don't need that we if we are going to a walk, if we are going to a picnic party. So we have to get cat with us. No. You do not have to wash cats because they know how to clean themselves. If you want to go on vacation, you can leave some food and water for your cat and it will be okay. A cat can sleep on your bed and keep you warm at night. I think these things make cats good pets. So yes, my dear students, this is the remaining and detail is called Sporting detail, the middle part that is sporting that our first topic sentence. And the last is that I think these all things, these all things, which all things are there because if we are going anywhere, so we can leave food, water for our cats, so it will be okay. And they can clean themselves. They know how we can keep clean themselves. Yes, my dear students, are you getting that? Even cat is an animal. So how he, he or she knows that, how it knows that we, I can clean myself. So cleanliness is half faith. So keep remember that we have to clean ourselves every time. So let's perform an activity. Divide students into pairs. One pair write the procedure of making cards and other follows it for crafting. 
encourage students to perform this activity in class yes my dear teachers do hold this activity in your class provide card to your students and they will cut and they will get crafting and they will make a flow chart excellent job i hope you have enjoyed it while making a chart there is a question question number 10 on page number 87 my dear students so now we will do an individual activity write the procedure of making a floral bouquet card for your mother by looking at the picture each flower includes an adjective that best describes your mother first write the material you need for this task yes my dear students so what we will do we will write about our mother so you know mother is the best personality and a role model for all of us because so we are going to write about our mother so be careful and we have to use adjectives we have already learned about adjectives in this chapter i hope you remember it so you will use all these adjectives perform this activity and wrote, note down in your notebooks excellent job i hope you have enjoyed it and you have done it nicely because we wrote about our mother yes so what's our today's homework write a procedure to make a paper board in your notebooks in a paragraph so what we will write we will do we will write the complete process of that procedure we will write how we can make a paper board with a paper with a card so i hope you are also making this is very funny because when it is raining we are flowing that board i also used to prepare that board so i hope you will also in my childhood so let's see how you will prepare i uh, will check your homework tomorrow and we will get that whose homework is best so yes my dear teachers this is worksheet and this worksheet is given below click it download it and provide it to your students in printed form so what we learned today we learned about sequence words and how we do everything in a procedure we also learned about paragraph and about the way of expository paragraph writing so in this way we have covered up our slo use appropriate vocabulary and tense to write a simple paragraph explaining a process or a procedure writing an expository paragraph explaining a process or a procedure yes my dear students and my dear teachers i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture and you got knowledge about expository paragraph how we can write it in a procedure so tomorrow with a new lecture see you soon inshallah allah hafiz